Welcome to Topaz Video Enhancer AI Review. Now let me show you this video first. So I was in the beach yesterday, yesterday, and the guy has no idea there's a whale behind him playing. He can't even see. So I happened to be there and I didn't have my telephoto lens. So I recorded this video with my smartphone and heavily cropping with the digital zoom. Therefore, the quality. Now, let me show you the result of Topaz Video Enhancer AI. So that's what I did. And here's the result. So how incredible is it? So the, the, there's the guy and there is the whale right behind. You can see that playing and eventually you'll we'll see the whale is actually, there you go, doing this thing that the water coming through the nose. So that's the quality of Topaz Video Enhancer AI. Now let me show, play it side by side for you. I mean, the quality is just, wow. This is a heavily cropped, digitally zoomed video on the right. And the result of Topaz Video Enhancer AI on the right. This is just magnificent. And who would have thought they're gonna be a whale on the beach? <laughs> so I was lucky, I gotta say. Now, anyway, welcome to another tutorial video. Now, I know, I know, not too long ago, I said that I'm not going to make much of a tutorial video because currently my YouTube channel is playing a beautiful European trip. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, so in each and every week, I'll be releasing a video of 11 city 11 countries and 39 cities of europe which i've done just before the unicorn virus um, and idea is basically showing you the cities and taking photographs with the fuji xt20 and showing them in black and white that should be a very interesting if you are into a black and white photography so because of that i kind of decided to take a pause on tutorial videos However, because of this scenario yesterday where I saw this massive whale on the beach playing and I had to find a software to, you know, upscale my video. And I was, I thought that, hey, why not I just make a video on Topaz Video Enhance AI? I mean, that would be uh, something nice to do. So I did do my test and you saw the result and now i'm going to show you how the software works now this is how the interface exactly now i decided not to use their example because you know some to time they can be <laughs> biased i mean obviously they're gonna make it look good so i decided to use my own video um to be honest with you there as much as i'm really happy with the result clearly is not as realistic as I saw in many other YouTube video. I don't know how they do, but in my test, it increased significantly as you just saw, but it's never going to replace the actual 4K. I'm telling you that. Otherwise, everybody would not buy a, a expensive camera, a professional grade camera, and they would just opt for the Topaz Video Enhanced AI instead. Uh, that would be an easy thing to do and normal thing to do but i don't think it's going to happen in future i mean it's going to save your videos but it's not going to replace anything anyway how does it work so at the top you have file and i recommend you to go to the preferences quickly before you start and make sure that every single settings are done um according to the topaz manual you should change something here, which, where is it? There you go, the max VRAM usage. So usually it's recommended to keep in low or medium if you don't have enough video RAM. High, of course, if you have a very powerful one. And my one is not that strong. Other than that, to be honest, um, it's not nothing else to change, obviously. But bear in mind, this software obviously is based on for video, which means, that this is going to be very 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 power hungry and 
Now, preview, obviously, another thing to care about. I'm going to talk to you, talk to talk about it later. Excuse me. Um, process and help if you need any help. And this is a trial version, obviously, but it doesn't change anything because I get to use enjoy the full power of it. Now, let me drag and drop the original. So either you can do drag and drop, right? Or you can click browse. You know, I do old school. I'll go browse. I don't know why two of them are open. I'm going to close one. There you go. And then uh, let's drag and drop the original. So before I go there, I'm going to show you exactly the original video. It's 23 megabyte, 23 seconds. And the resolution of that video is, I think it's 400 something. There you go. It's a 486 pixel. It's quarter of a HD. As you can clearly see that, you know, that doesn't even fill the screen. It's just ridiculous. Now, in order to upscale it, so you have a sizing option. So immediately you can go to sizing. Either you can do double the size, you can do 400 of a size, or you can do the preset HD. So let's say because it's a quarter of a HD, we're going to click HD. So that's step number one. So you decide it how much you want. We're going to stick to the normal one so that um, we don't overdo anything. Now, now view, you have comp comparison view. So I'm going to keep it the comparison view so they can actually see it exactly the different models. I think that's one way to show you straight away. And then video quality. So you have the preset. So low quality is obviously if your video is originally recorded very poorly. So of course you're gonna stick to the low, but let's say you happen to have a very high quality video already, but you just need to refine them. You obviously go to medium or high. So we're gonna stick with low. Now video type progressive. Progressive and interlaced, it's something like interlaced is used to be old television, VHS. So we're not going to talk about it too much because these days we record a lot on progressive mode. So keep it the progressive mode, right? CG, obviously, this is for the graphics. So mostly if you have a video that is actually a cartoon, remember the old Tom and Jerry? <laughs> so you downloaded it and then you want to upgrade it. So this is when this part comes in play. And video artifact type, so you have many. So I'm going to show you one at a time. So high compression, noise, blurry, none, just detail enhanced. So obviously if you have a noisy, you can do noise reduction. So this video actually works as a noise reduction software. Blurry, obviously if you have a shaky and blurry footage, you can fix it. But in our case, this is a very high compression video, obviously. So you're going to stick with the high compression. Now we have done our first step and the second step. The third one is the Armenis low quality and strong D hollow. What are they? Because they don't sound very English to me. So low quality, obviously the low quality, the name gives away. The strong D hollow, what happens is when you have a video that is actually already good quality, however, you have this hollow, which you can clearly see in the video. So in our case is actually the both. So we're gonna try both of them. So in our first, we're gonna keep low quality. In our second one, in this box, we're going to keep the exact same setting, but we're going to change it to D hollow. And in our third, we're going to go to the all because we have a list of preset here, which is brilliant. And we are going to try one of the preset. We're not going to try all of them because I think we don't have much time for all of them. And this is not why you want. If you want to do something, you have to try all of them one at a time. In our case, we're going to upgrade to Teia Fine Tune because it does upscale or sharpen input video, more details. And there is a parameter for fine tuning, such as I'm going to go a bit of sharpening and D block is basically de hollowing. Reduce noise, we don't not gonna worry about it because you don't have any noise. Now we yet to see a result though, because you have a button here, it's called preview. Now remember, once I click the preview, I'm going to cut the video to the result because it takes forever. And to make the time shorter, 
in the preview frame you just keep one so all you need to do is to upgrade to one frame so you're just going to do one frame upscale just to show you the result don't do more than that because i think it's unnecessary so i'm going to click preview and i'm going to jump straight to the result but before i go it's going to show you exactly what it is doing so loading the ai model so in each box is doing all the loading part so hang on a second right that was quick so where is our gentleman he should be somewhere here there you go you can clearly see the significant improvement this is legendary personally speaking uh, the video that you originally saw that was the armatis low quality version of it and the strong de hello did the de hollowing obviously but the problem with that department um it also takes away a lot of details which i don't like so you want to have want to be in closer to the original personally that's what i would prefer but the locality did a very good job but finally the Teya fine-tuned detail to be honest it also did a very good job if you have time and if you have a very strong computer i would suggest doing armitis strong d hello first and run it back to topaz video enhance ai and then use their fine tune details one more time so that you going to have a refined video with the details so you're gonna run it twice if you really want the best out of it so you got the bit of an idea how it does so in order to export you have a plenty of option so good news is that you can export in prores which is very good and you can also export in mp4 you can also export in image format so it's going to export a sequence of video and you also can whether or not keep or dis uh, leave the audio in the sizing option obviously you can you have up to 8k i did try 8k problem every time it crashed probably first of all because my computer is not strong enough and second you know what it is no second my computer is not just strong enough to process the video so unfortunately it could not export in 8k so bear that in mind if you have a very low quality video stick up to 4k i think that should do the job and i recommend export in prores because it's going to give you a bigger file and it will be really low in pressure on your computer when you want to edit in future future excuse me i'm not i'm not a video guy i'm a photo guy who does video so for me this software probably important if i happen to have a video that needed to be cropped to show you something interesting like in this video there's a whale behind a guy literally not far from the beach um a scenario like that it works and many other cases obviously is for the surveillance and uh, you know you can i can give you a list i mean that's a topic for another time please do like and subscribe and also as i said my channel is currently transmitting a travel videography and the photography series in europe for this month so if you if that interests you do subscribe i'm sure you're gonna love it look after yourself bye bye